Welcome back to another video in the Make and Memory series. Today is going to be another good one. I'm going to introduce you to a 95 year old gamer, a buddy of mine, a first person shooter fanatic, Roy G. <laughs> Now, I'm not talking about Bruce Willis's persona in Die Hard. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. Nor am I talking about Robert Redford as Roy Hobbs in The Natural. I'm Roy Hobbs, your new right fielder. I'm talking about Roy G from Seattle, Washington. So let me give you a little bit of background on Roy, a first-person shooter fanatic. Gunslinger Joe. <laughs> Roy owned a house in the neighborhood that I grew up in. So later on, as I progressed through life and acquired some technical skills, I was talking with Roy on the road one day and he had mentioned he needed a little bit of help with his PC. So long story short, I ended up putting an NVIDIA 1070 Ti, updated his RAM, just so he could get more enjoyment out of his games. Because did I mention? He's a first person shooter fanatic. I've been blessed to make it into my mid to late 50s now I've seen some things in this technological boom, starting with Pong, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. I can play some Donkey Kong. I can remember the school days in the arcade, pumping in the quarter, going for the high score on Donkey Kong, joust, track and field, doom, the Super NES era. I have another good buddy of mine that's deep into gaming. He would go rent out the cartridge from Blockbuster. Had some late nights in the Mario world. Yeah, I've killed the dragon, saved the princess in Dragon's Lair. Donkey Kong, the Pie Factory. If, the, if you don't know about the Pie Factory, you're missing out. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Roy and let's talk with him and see how his experience and his journey being a gamer in his senior years. Let's do this. How we know each other is that I first started working on some of your computers, but we've been neighbors for years. But then you're the one that rebuilt it though. And that's when you told me that you were a first shooter gamer. Yeah, right. So you love the first person shooting games. Oh yeah, single player, I don't care. I, I, I played online one time on Borderlands. I was on there and these people, they were going and I didn't know what I was supposed to do and I didn't have my earphones on. So they would say, they'd come up to it and then the capture would say, they wanted to trade weapons. I wasn't going to give up my weapons. Well, I went there with these other people, we killed that monster. When you kill that monster on Borderlands, it drops off a bunch of guns and rewards and things like that. And that worked out. But I don't care, I like single player. I like to decide what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it. I'm an action, first-person shooter, single player. But now, I get them, the two types, I get them from Steam. I go through Steam on them, and I get them, and I can buy them right online. Or I can go to even Amazon. I love getting stuff from Amazon. And no trouble with Amazon. I go to my account, quick checkout, quick, they got my credit card number, they got everything, bango. And in about one or two days, here's my stuff down at the desk. Okay, so you're an independent living in a yeah. facility, and when you talk to a lot of the residents here, when they're talking about games, they're talking about crosswords and jumble, yeah. but what you're talking about is real-time gaming. They're not familiar with hardly any of this. You know, they're just surprised that I can do this thing. And like the guys down below, the computer guy and all that, they're, they're just amazed. And it's, and of course, with this big monitor, some people have computer, they have a little laptop. Sure. Take a quick look at that. Well, and the other thing that we were talking about earlier is that I referred to it as carpal tunnel, but you had a finger injury that happened to you. Let's see here. And I didn't have, I had a surgery done. Well, initially I had a cortisone shot, it didn't help me. 
But before this, my finger would be just, I'd get up in the morning and I couldn't hardly straighten it up. And that was kind of interference. So I thought I'd check and see if there's going to be something done with it. And then he said, yeah, they can do what they call a trigger finger release operation. So he goes in there and cuts a slit. He gets in there and he said, it's like a line in a fishbowl. The thing gets caught up there. He went in and did some cutting and all that. And uh, it's, it's pretty well healed up, although you can feel the scar tissue. It feels like a piece of wood. It does interfere with me when I'm trying to button my shirt or when I want to do something. I want to pick up something. It's awkward to do it. And then you ended up putting a game controller on your computer just because the, it was affecting your mouse play, right? Yeah, but I, I tried doing it. This, uh, I'm going to go stay with my keyboard. I'm familiar with it. And you know what they say. It's pretty hard to teach an old dog new tricks. And uh, physically, mostly. And uh, so I'm going to just stay with it. Sure. I. It's a little more difficult. But sometimes these checkpoints... I, uh, there's some games now, there's Wolfenstein, I, I gotta show you this Wolfenstein thing. There's Wolfenstein Old Order, and then the Wolfenstein New Order, and now came the Wolfenstein Colossal. You got Crisis 2 and 3? Crisis 2 and 3, and I'm at checkpoints on them there, I'm having trouble with them. The thing about a lot of these games, you gotta push something, you know, it says hit E. Right. Well, I'm looking up there, watching where I'm shooting and that. I got to look down at the keyboard. I got to find, where is he again? Where is he? See, some people, they don't have to look at their keyboard. They can just go click, 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 click. I can't do that. Well, there's a, there's a number of computer games. You get to some place. I've killed everybody. I got to find my way back. I forgot I got to find my way out. And they have a little diamond thing there that's where you have to go. But in order to see that diamond thing, you got to be on a certain level. And these things are designed, go through this door, you go through that door, you go up these steps and all that. And you got to try to remember where you're at. So in a way that might help my memory, but then in a way I get so frustrated <laughs> that I go play the other game or something. But it does keep your blood pumping. Yeah, too much so that I'm t sometime I can't get this checkpoint. It's 2 o'clock and 2.30 in the morning. And I got to say, I got to quit. So I just go turn it off. That's all right, Roy. Classic gamer. Classic oh, gamer. I Sometimes I tell people about it. I said, you know, maybe you think I'm going through my second childhood. But I love my second childhood. Oh, no. Are we going into the games? No, not yet. What I do is I got to go into my computer glasses. Now, if you, I go there. I can see somebody moving. You can see them right now. It's out with you. Those are great. Sean did a great job with that. Here's a, here's a, my side thing. Then here's my patio in the back. So not only are you a gamer, you're a security specialist. Yeah, not really. And then I got one on my side. I think you, I, I think you're the one that set me up with this. Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. Well, look it, at the games I got. I got Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. This Battlefield 5 is amazing. Then I got my Far Cry 3, and then I got, actually, I got, I, I got Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 5, but I got them on someplace else. But my favorite game, though, is uh, Wolfenstein. Uh, Steve, now, they come up with all this junk here. I, I hate that. You know, look at all the stuff they come in there. They're trying to sell you a different thing. Just part of the gig, Roy. Uh, I know that. I'm getting tired of commercials for that. I go to my library, and then there, oh, there, I, the games that I have there, here's the games that I have that I can play. I'll tell you, I just, you know, I can stay on this thing for hours, but pretty soon my back gets sore, my eyes get dried up. Now, what I like about this thing, I click on it. Now, here I got some more games. Here, this is called Combat Simulation. There's a bunch of things here I can do. Well, I got hit. here's what I like. I like these Freedom Chronicles. I got four different games. So I go here, I want to, I click on there. So I can continue game, volume one. Sometimes I get a little confused. So now I go here, and I got to wait for things to load up. You know, there's a lot of stuff in these games. 
I had a job to do. Like, See, damn, here's where I had saved it. Goddamn cheeseburger. There you go. Okay. And then I could, if I wanted to, I could throw a bomb down there. So I can kill it. Now, if I jump, if I go down there, I'm on top of some pipes. I got that gun. I got that gun there. I got this one here. What I do is, when they come right out there, I'll, I'll nail them. And headshots get them every time. Okay, but there's a whole bunch of them out there. And then I have this thing here. Now I'll see you get headshots. No. I dropped down there. There's a lot of them there. And then, I can see my health is going wrong. I got hit with headshots, I get them every time. These guys are all over the place. There's a million of them. I got out here. See, my health is going down there, see? And sometimes I run over here. But I gotta look for what key I want. If I come over here, I can't got to shield myself. I'll run like hell and try to get away from it. Get lost or something. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going, but I just keep going. Then I go into a corner. Yeah, well there they are. A whole bunch of them coming after me. I got him. Oh, this guy. This guy, oh, he's a deadly one. I get him at the I got kills. <laughs> anyway, that's one. That's thing. pretty good, Roy. Oh, I'll tell you. Well, that's going to wrap up another video in the Make and Memory series of the Nailcore Life. And I hope you enjoyed meeting my friend Roy and experiencing a small glimpse in his life, enjoying video games into his senior years. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, Roy, any last thoughts? See, a headshot gets him all the time. See, I shot him in the head. Fella, you don't start playing ball at your age, you retire. For your age, he said, you're really sharp. And I pointed the line at Bruce. They hardly heard it. <laughs> Roy G from Seattle. I had a lot of bullets. See, the thing is, once you shoot somebody, they all come after you. <laughs>